Radiant Bergamot by Ferrari. Oh my god, he's doing another car clone review. Can't he do anything else like a normal human being? That's all he's been doing lately is car clone reviews, and I'm getting sick to death of it. I should be an actor. What do you think? Should I be an actor? Um, I could send this review to like a producer or director in Hollywood and they would see it and be like, wow, he's a really good actor. Let's hire him. And like in a year, I could be like really rich and famous. Probably not. Um, but I have been doing a lot of car cologne reviews, haven't I? Automobile manufacturing fragrance reviews? Yes, I have. I don't know why. I just see them and I get on here and start talking about them. I don't know why. Anyway, you'll probably want to stick around for this. Um, let me go ahead and read you the notes real quick. Top notes, Calabrian Bergamot. Uh, ginger, Italian lemon, middle notes or heart notes, nutmeg, rosemary, and geranium. Base notes are moss, patchouli, and labdanum. Um, pretty cool bottle too. I like the color. It's sort of like a I don't know. It's sort of like a light green, but it's really cool. I love Ferrari bottles. Um, they have really good atomizers, and the caps are actually my favorite. I really like the caps. They're really well made. Um, but I'll tell you what I get from this. From the very, very opening, uh, for about 45 minutes, I get straight up citrus. It's like a slap in the face. It's like hardcore citrus. A lot of bergamot, a lot of lemon. Um, it's very sharp. It's very crisp. It's very clean. It's very energizing. Um, but it has a really, really good citrus opening for about 40 minutes. Um, and uh, I actually use a lot of fragrances um, to help me with my mood. There's a lot of fragrances I use to help get me out of certain moods. There's a lot of fragrances I use to help get me into certain moods. Um, I use fragrances for my depression. I use fragrances for sleep. Um, I use a lot of fragrances to help me um, get energized and get awake in the morning. This is actually one of the fragrances that I like to use to, um, especially in the morning because it's really energizing. It's really fresh and clean and crisp to me. Um, so this is a good uh, wake-up fragrance, energizing fragrance. Um, but the first 45 minutes is really, really, really nice citrus, bergamot and lemon. Um, after about 40 minutes, there's a sweet, soft floral that comes in. By, by then, by when the floral comes in, the citrus has already calmed down a lot. Um, but there's a sweet, soft floral that comes in that reminds me of freesia. Freesia is a really fresh, bright floral. Um, but the funny thing is the only floral in here is geranium. Um, so the only thing that I can think of that I'm smelling that I'm getting freesia is maybe a combination of nutmeg, rosemary, and geranium, possibly. Um, but there's a really nice, sweet, soft floral that comes in in the mid. And if you're a guy out there, don't worry. This is not like a feminine floral. It's not powdery or anything. It's not feminine or masculine. It's sort of just like a unisex floral accord that comes in. Um, the dry down, the citrus is pretty much already gone. So in the dry down, you're left with a real, that really nice, sweet, soft floral and a lot of oak moss. And it's really nice. This actually develops really well. It has three stages. Citrus in the mid, there's citrus and sweet soft floral, and then the dry down, you get the sweet soft floral and oak moss. So there's three distinct um, developments as far as this fragrance, and it's really nice. I like this, I like this a lot, um, especially the mid. I really like, I think the mid is my favorite with the citrus and the floral. Um, but I like this. The quality is really good. There's a lot of citrus dominant fragrances, especially in, uh, in the opening, that can be really harsh. This isn't harsh at all to me. Um, it's really strong, but it's not harsh. Um, so I like this. Um, so if this sounds something that you might like, I will try to find um, 
this somewhere on the internet and put the link down in the description if you're interested. Um, the longevity, the, the longevity isn't actually too good on this. Everything else is really, really nice. Um, but as far as the, like the longevity, I'm getting between like four and four and a half hours, um, which isn't like really bad, but I wish it was a little bit more maybe, but it's no big deal. I mean, if I want to smell this longer after about four and a half hours when it starts to die, I'll just put some more on. It's no big deal. Um, but anyway, I will talk to you guys later and peace.